so I figured I would do a video today about things that I no longer purchase since going zero waste. I hate the term zero waste because I'm not zero waste. I create waste and we all do. So let's say low waste journey. So the first thing on my list of things that I no longer buy since going on my low waste lifestyle journey is those cans of shave cream. First of all, the ingredients in there aren't the best for the environment or my skin. My body does not like it. The cans that they come in are not sustainable either. They're not great for the environment. I find that conditioner or regular soap, lathering up soap works just as well. Kind of along the same lines is disposable razors. I have switched to a safety razor. I got one of those more affordable double-sided safety razors and it does a good job, but I feel like trying to get certain areas like the underarms, it's it doesn't get around the curves so well and I'm, I'm always afraid that I'm gonna have bloody armpits. So I really wanted to try a leaf razor. So my boyfriend got me a leaf razor as well as one of the little ones that comes with it. I can't remember what it's called. It's like grass, is that right? I don't know. There's a little razor that comes with it anyway, and I find that I gravitate towards that one. I use that for all my shaving needs. So anyway, I don't buy disposable razors. Leaf razors are a little expensive, but not all safety razors are. Some safety razors are pretty darn cheap, and the blades are super cheap as well. I also don't buy air fresheners. I used to like things like Febreze. Actually, back in the day, I used to buy those Glade plugins a lot too. And that was many, many moons ago. I haven't bought anything like that in so long. Maybe I'm just really sensitive, but my body does not like artificial scents like that. And along the same lines of that, I don't buy scented candles or incense. I used to love scented candles and incense. I used to go crazy at like Bath and Body Works. They would have these candle scents for every season. I used to love that stuff and they were really expensive expensive too. I just don't burn candles a lot. I do have some candles that are scented that I got as gifts, but they're more just for decoration and for in case the lights go out. I just don't gravitate towards candles a lot anymore and I used to love candles. I used to also love incense. There was a specific one that I used to get in Sedona from the store called Crystal Magic that just smelled divine and I still love the smell of it, but I can't burn it because it gives me a sinus infection and yeah. I do have some of their incense cones from back in the day when I did used to purchase it and I just keep them in a jar and every once in a while when I want a little like mood boost or something, I will open the jar and take a whiff of my incense cone. Another thing that I used to buy a long time ago when they first came out and I think it is just so wasteful and so stupid and I just can't believe I did it is disposable toilet brush heads. Do you guys remember the advertisement back when these first came out where they were talking like, oh, there's so many germs in your toilet. Like, why would you want to save that same brush and reuse it over and over and spread those germs around? Yeah, but you're using it in the same part. It's not like you're using it on the seat or the handle. You're just using it inside the bowl. So, and why am I going to keep giving you all my hard earned money just so that I can buy something of yours and throw it out? It doesn't make sense. I also no longer buy your typical chemical laden household cleaners. As you guys probably know, I use Blue Land and Clean Cult for a lot of my cleaners. I also use Castile soap or Castile soap, however you pronounce it. I've heard it pronounced both ways, but I use Castile soap, vinegar, lemon, salt, baking soda, things like that around my house for cleaning. It works just as good and I know what I'm potentially breathing in or getting on my skin. We do have a few typical household cleaning products products left in our house. I personally don't purchase them. I think my boyfriend does sometimes, but I'm all about finding natural alternatives. Yeah, I try to avoid that stuff whenever I can. Another thing I no longer buy is plastic sponges or sponges at all for that matter, really. I mean, I guess I would be open to buying a natural sponge if I needed one, but honestly, I have some that came with my dish brush. It was kind of like a set and I, I don't use them. Things like my bamboo dish brush lasts a lot longer than a sponge. It doesn't get all smelly like a sponge and it does the job just as well. I no longer buy plastic loofahs either. I really think they're disgusting. That's another thing that's just like a bacteria magnet. It's just a big 
nice cozy home for bacteria to grow. You could throw them in the washing machine, I guess, but then you're releasing microplastics potentially into the water and it's also gonna fall apart. It's like, oh, well, they're only a dollar, so what's the big deal? But it is a big deal. It adds up and it adds up in the landfill as well. So I actually, you guys know that I use a little cotton produce bag, a small one, and I put my bar soap in there and I lather up with that. But I also have gotten cloth loofahs on Etsy. So I've tried a couple different ones. The best one that I found fell apart too, but after a very long time of using it, and I can put it back together. I just need to put a new string through it to scrunch it back up. But my bar soap in my little sack thing has been working just fine so i use that and i'm not releasing microplastics into the water every time i take a shower another thing that i used to buy a lot and i no longer buy is chewing gum i used to be addicted to trident i don't know when the last time was that i had gum they do make more eco-friendly kind of sustainable gums that are not made out of plastic like traditional bubble gum and chewing gum however a lot of them have a lot of sugar in them so you do want to watch out for that you might want to read the label and see if there's sugar in there or not because as you know that feeds cavity causing bacteria. I no longer use disposable cutlery or plates. I used to have parties with my friend a lot. We would get the disposable cutlery and disposable plates and I stopped doing that a long time ago. I just don't see the need to do that. I used to throw away so much money getting this stuff when I can just use my own dishes. And I do understand there are occasions where bringing your own dishes to an event like that might not be feasible, not just because of the quantity of people, but if you are getting together with a bunch of people, let's say for a family reunion or some kind of holiday at a park or something like that, you don't wanna be bringing your dishes that could break easily in transit or get lost. They do make compostable plates and cutlery and things that I would recommend if you need it. Along the same lines, I no longer buy disposable tablecloths. And yes, I used to do that too. At these parties, I would get the big plastic tablecloths. Sometimes you could reuse them. You just wipe them down, let them dry, fold them up, and then use them for the next party. But those are very poorly made, and most of the times they would get some tears in them or stains or something, and they wouldn't really be reusable, so they would just end up in the landfill, and that was just like so ridiculously wasteful. Like, why was I doing that? And along the same lines, and my final thing for this video that I no longer buy since going on my low waste journey is disposable party decorations. Yeah, I used to go out and get the balloons and the streamers, and we always had to have balloons and streamers at our parties. Are you kidding me? And now I'm just like, why? Why did I do that? Again, it's a waste of money and it's wasteful in so many ways. There are some people like uh, Get a Mary Johansson. I will link her channel down below, but she uses things like little flags and those cloth streamers, what are they called? They're like flags, but they're the pointy ones, those type of things. She'll decorate with stuff like that. I think that's great. Yeah, I just don't feel the need to buy disposable decorations anymore. Am I a party pooper? <laughs> And that is it for the things that I no longer buy since going on my low waste journey. There are more things that I could have added to this, but I found that the video would be too long. So I'll go ahead and do another version of this again in the future. If you guys like that sort of content, let me know. And if you have anything that you've given up since going on your low waste journey, please let us know in the comments below. I'm sure the community would love to know about it. Thank you so much for watching guys. And until next time, take really good care of yourselves. The same video. <laughs>